Hey, what's going on YouTube? This EXO here, coming at you with the much anticipated Sirwin Vega Stroker tutorial video. So without any further ado, let's get to the step-by-step -step processes of how to wire a subwoofer in both series and parallel. Let's get into this. For some great deals, check out SoundEntronics.com. The first step is to determine whether or not your subwoofer has dual or single voice coils. As you know, we're looking at a dual voice coil setup here. Now you can go ahead and check on the package what your coil's resting impedance is, but just to be safe, go ahead and check it with the multimeter to make sure nothing went wrong from the factory to your house. You're gonna click your setting over to read ohms, just like that. Then go ahead and check each coil for continuity. That's just to make sure things will work for you. As you can see, we're at about two ohms. So yep, we're working with a dual two ohm voice coil. Let's check the other coil just to be safe. And as you can see, she's reading out 2.1, 2.0. So now that we know that both coils are in working order, we can go ahead and check the ratings on our amplifier to see what the minimum current load is. Our amplifier clearly states that it's stable at one ohm. That means that we can go ahead and wire this subwoofer in parallel. Now what does that mean? Now it's a really common and simply answered question. What is parallel wiring? What does it mean to wire your subwoofers in parallel? It simply means going from positive to positive, negative to negative. And with the laws of electricity, the lower the ohm load, the more the power. So let's go ahead and show you guys what it means to wire in parallel. As you see, we have our negative and positive coming out of our amplifier. This is just for demonstration purposes, so I didn't plug it into the amp. So how do we attack wiring the subwoofer in parallel to get the most power out of our 1000 watt amplifier? Well, it's actually really simple. We're just gonna plug it into the positive and negative on the subwoofer. But we're gonna choose one voice coil and the other voice coil. So we're gonna do the positive of one voice coil and the negative of the other. This right here is our negative coming from our amplifier and that's gonna go into the negative of the first coil, just like that. And then the positive coming from the amp is gonna go to the positive of the second coil, all the way to the other side. So now you guys might be wondering, well, what do you do with these two coils right here? They're not connected to anything. Well, I'll tell you. You make little jumpers, little short, little two inch jumpers like this to go from one coil to the other. This is what will drop your impedance down and allow you to get more power. This little tiny jumper. You're gonna go ahead and loosen up your terminals. And then from the negative of the first terminal, loosen up the bolt that you've already tightened and go ahead and shove that into the same hole. This is what's gonna connect the first coil's negative to the second coil's negative. And then do the same thing on the positive, connecting the first coil to the second coil. And now that we have everything tightened, we can check the impedance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it to the end of it and uh, see what we're working with here. And now that we have our multimeter connected, we can go ahead and double check our impedance. We want this to be one ohm because we know this is a one ohm stable amplifier, dual two ohm subwoofer, chopping that two ohms in half and down into one. Look at that, picture perfect. And yes, subwoofers do give or take like 0.1 or 0.2. So there you guys go, a quick little tutorial on how to wire down your subwoofers in parallel. And remember, when you wire down in parallel, you boost up your power. When you wire up in series, you go down in power. If you can remember those two things, you're doing all right. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next edition when I show you guys how to wire up your subwoofers in series. This is EXO, signing out until the next video. Because of all your great feedback, there's now an EXO 50% coupon for your very own stroker. Go check out all your favorite gear at Sonic Electronics and stay tuned for the next tutorial. <laughs>